This is the 18th of July. This is your daily debrief. We've got Sanctum news, some Bitcoin price discovery potential, and a few other things coming through. So let's dive in. So having a quick look here, we're slightly down with BTC ETH and Sol, just slightly. And we've got here from Cold Blooded Chiller that basically expecting maybe it jumps down here and then just attacks up with the next kind of place to hit would be like 72,000. St. Pump says there's not going to be any kind of dips until we hit 72k that's his prediction here and if you missed the rally before you've missed it like you're going to be lucky if it comes down we've got donald trump going to the bitcoin conference in a couple of days and i think all of this is going to bring us up to like 72k ish but i still think we're for the next few months we're in this kind of crabby market we're not supposed to be seeing anything crazy this early in the cycle in my opinion however bitcoin is back above the average cost basis of short term holders. This is always important because when people are in profit, it makes it a far more bullish kind of sensation. Like if you went and bought a whole lot of soul at $200, you know, you're not going to be very bullish. You're probably not going to be watching these videos until we go over $200 and then you'd be like, oh, what's happening? That's one of the important things of just dollar cost averaging. However, stable coins in the market, it's massive. USDT makes up 70% of the total market cap, which is absolutely crazy. 160 billion and it also says it may not be much yet but the upward trend is noteworthy more and more money comes in it gets put into markets and then later how this works with stable coins is people go and sell it and then they cash it out for actual us dollars that go into a bank account and then the supply reduces this here is from marty party and just spot buys on the exchanges just climb and climb and climb and climb and also, payment processor Stripe to allow Europeans to buy Bitcoin using their credit or debit cards. Don't have any further information on this, but whenever they make it easier to on-ramp and off-ramp, that's obviously bullish. In terms of what Sol is actually doing when you're comparing it to other tokens, it's uh, currently doing fine. Um, you know, it's, it's slightly, slightly green, but I think not necessarily with some of these, but maybe with some ETH uh, in particular, it may actually start to improve. We'll cover that, unfortunately, now. Because Warex, or I don't even know how to pronounce this, Wazerex, there's a little tip for your branding. Make sure your name is uh, pronounceable. Um, they've been exploited for 230 million. So you're probably going to see something from Zach's, Zach XBT, but there is a decent amount of meme coins like Sheep, and this is going to be sell pressure. So I believe he's already started selling. Matic as well, which by the way has been renamed soon to Pol, P O L. Um, so, I mean, Pepe, that's not a lot, to be honest, but Sheeb, a uh, decent amount of ETH, a decent amount of Matic, it's, it's, it's been sold. I believe it's been sold and then it's been funneled through Tornado Cash. So, this is what we can see here, but nothing crazy has been sold. Only 618,000. Either way, their multi-sig wallet was exploited. I'm sure there's some people that are part of that exchange. I have no idea what the actionable is here. Just wait for news from Wazirex and hopefully, hopefully they can recover some of it. Now on to this comment from Anatoly. Now with the whole Sanctum airdrop thing, people can have their opinions. What I suggest you do is be respectful. Don't keyboard warrior. If you disagree with me, fine, disagree with me. I, I can see that there's ways that you can do it better. The crazy thing is there's not many people, but there's some people that watch videos and they say, you said it's fine. Well, I also said like, I would do this a little bit differently or this a little bit differently, or I could understand this. And then you just pick a point and you just go with, this is fine. That's just not intelligent kind of debating. But it, it doesn't matter because, you know, ultimately I have to research and push out a whole lot of content for everybody. I'm not going to go and reply to a whole lot of unreasonable comments. However, someone else will see you're welcome to discuss by all means. Go and, go and say what you agree or disagree with. Um, also, Sanctum, if you just follow them on Twitter, they did an AMA. They'll probably do another AMA. And I think a lot of things can also be improved retroactively. Or season two could be something like with a little bit more clarity. I don't really know, but feedback now is important. The issue is you had months to give a whole lot of feedback. You didn't know exactly how it was going to be, but they obviously had data that suggested that there weren't actually too many people that were really, really trying to be really, really helpful to them. And they decided on this. I remember listening to a part of the stream and list to the whole thing. And someone said, if you had like 80% of 20,000 people, because that's what they expect, the actual number of people, so it's not like hundreds of thousands of people. It's like probably about 20,000 just with multiple wallets. If you had 80% of those people that were earnest, would they be 
getting an earnest airdrop. It would have been smaller, of course, but yes, it was. It just the case was there were earnest people that didn't link the profile um, and you can't go and reward in that system if you don't know who your people are because in the previous cycle, I remember seeing people that wouldn't hide, you know, 10 people from a developing nation and they just hired them to grind on Discord, get whitelist spots for NFTs, mint them, sell them. Guy was up a couple of million dollars at the end of the year. Absolutely cleaned up. Paid out, you know, $50,000 in wages to a, a team of hustlers and just made absolute bank. You could do the same thing here. So you want to reward the actual real users, but you don't necessarily want to go and reward people that are just going off a script. Or I wouldn't even go into it because people are going to then listen to what I'm saying and then start to do that and try and, uh, you know, kind of rally a crew that goes and does this. My point being, they're trying to reward real people. But Tolly says this, rant over. The number one rule for airdrop distribution design should be no whiners or complainers. Doesn't say no constructive feedback. So when people inevitably complain, the devs can point to rule number one. Anyway, that's that. So Sanctum is actually going live today, 3 p.m. UTC. And let's have a look at how much money's in the vault. It's 10 million. So I did think it was going to be oversubscribed. And then I went and read all the comments of all the FUD. And I thought, oh, maybe I'm mistaken. You know what? I wasn't mistaken. There's 10 million there. So I still have my plan. Thousand dollars. I need to put in a little bit more after I record this video. It's only 134% filled. So let's say this tops out at, because of the time right now, like maybe 150 max. That means that if you put in $1,500, you're going to get $500 refunded. And then $1,000 will be swapped into Sanctum. And then we'll just see how we go. I guess one thing is though, like I am anticipating some sale pressure, but anyone that got an earnest amount, they are incentivized to hold. They're definitely incentivized to hold. They're incentivized to make co content. They're incentivized to make this really, really big, to beta test things, to give lots of feedback, all sorts. Anyway, where will the token be available? Of course, you can go get on Jupe. Remember, as soon as this token comes out, you don't want to go and try and snipe it because it can be a little bit vicious. Um, just slippage. Still, there's going to be some bot activity because there is some hype. So just be a little bit mindful. And just make sure whatever you're swapping, because sometimes Jupiter can say it can tell you the wrong, the wrong amount. Like it does the right amount, but the price is wrong. That's what happened with the send coin. So you can also go and set some limit orders if you like on uh, Drift. Don't know what time it's going to open. Backpack and Bybit and Kraken and BitGet. Swissborg as well. And also Asset Dash. Can't buy it there, but it's, you can track it on Asset Dash. Next bit of news. This is crazy. So... Jupiter's per platform has generated $116 million in total per fees. I have no idea what Drift has done as a comparison, but that's absolutely insane. Now, the fees were a little bit higher in the beginning and they've been brought down. Maybe that needs to change in the future as well. 70% of the fees get generated, that are generated go to the JLP pool. And this source is brilliant. It just shows you everything. Assets under management, total open interest, long, short, and the total per trading fees down here. If you like to create content, remember, always check out Super Team Erm, where you'll see this and other things. But um, there is the Jupiter DAO Uplink Working Group has another live bounty. Just putting this on your radar for now. So this is all part of Jupiter's giant unified marketplace, the GUM. It's the initiative here to make tokenized real world assets tradable. And they're working on something. They have a read more link here. Not many people are going to read it from just going from this video. So I will get onto it and then I'll give you an update. Soulflare Wallet has now enabled Blinks. So you can watch my latest Blink video. I love Blinks. I really do love Blinks. And now you don't have to use Backpack or uh, the, this dialect thing. Or, and you don't have to use uh, Phantom either. Also, the swap and win competition has officially ended. I still swap within the wallet just for the speed. And the $15,000 grand prize winner will be announced this week. So congrats to anyone that got $100. And also for the you know good luck for the 15k Camino. So um, from now on, users who sign up for the notifications will be the first to receive the alpha. Put in your Telegram, put in your email, and then when things change, um, you're going to get a ping. And this is important because right now, if you go to Camino Finance, like the borrow cap was like five million dollars. Maybe it's gone up, but it's okay. It's, it's been updated to six, which means you can borrow. This is just this is free money. So if you get a if you get a ping in Telegram and it's already it's gone up to seven just if you've got some capital already in there you can just go and you can just borrow this and then if you want to you can use two different wallets 
I spoke about it a, a couple of weeks ago, like a week ago. Or you can have, you can go put in some Judo Soul, some Soul, um, some, maybe some INF. No, that doesn't have any kind of weight. Strangely, it doesn't have any weight. This is really strange. Anyway, I'm going to put in some Judo Soul or some Soul. And then you can go and borrow some PYUSD and then put into another wallet and then supply it or put it into Lulu and supply it. Or even better, borrow it, right? Swap it for USDC, bring it back, supply it, then borrow more until it fills up. Swap it for USDC and then at the end, go to a new wallet and deposit it. And then it's just free money. It's just plus EV. Marginfy, which... They still never handled their public relations kind of issues with Edgar going um, crazy and not really just, oh, we, we won't worry about that. I, I don't I don't I don't feel that was the right way to do things. Um, and if they did handle it, I missed it. So apologies if I'm wrong. But dupe soul and eight soul, they're now in the main pool and can be used as collateral. Maybe you want to use this. Doing very well. Seven billion lifetime volume. And also the yes coin. I'm, I'm not really like part of it. Uh, I'm not following it. I think I maybe mentioned it once, but I'm just not, I'm not really digging it. I have nothing bad to say. Just, is it worth my attention right now? Is it worth your attention? Is this branded so well that it's going to do well? We'll have a look, actually. We'll have a look in a second. We will copy that in just a moment. But 500 random wallets who have locked Bonk will be getting some yesterday. So that could be cool. So what we'll do is we'll go to intent.trade and I'll paste in this contract address here and we'll just have a look at YesCoin. Just to see what it's it, it's saying. Remember, we can use this here to buy things. Um, we can set up like it's a smart wallet, so we can set up different orders. Or if it drops down a certain amount, we can set a buy order. All that sort of stuff. I've done a video on it. However, that didn't really go into detail with the smart wallet because the smart wallet's brand new. So we can kind of exclude the first part, of course, because the first part is just like like why would we worry about that first part? It's just a, it's a botting time, and then we see some stuff. So the market cap is like. 2.8 million there is a rug check warning here i wonder if we can just click and see what that warning is there's a decent number of holders already and remember someone put in comments like you got to be careful of intent trade because oh, this was one comment sorry you got to be careful of intent trade because it said that whiff was going to go down and it didn't this is artificial intelligence this is using chart analysis this is a tool you use as part of your suite of tools it's just trying to get all the information in one place that's how I use intent trade. If it was as simple as putting in a contract address, it says it's going to go up and then you go and buy it, goes up, you sell it. Then we'd be all millionaires in like two days. Anyway, the recommended trading signal or strategy right now is sell. It's a very new token, but this chart doesn't look exceptionally good. So this is what the cost is, 0 0.00278. We might check it in a couple of days and see what happens. Now Sendcoin. So I mentioned the other day, like I've basically moved out of Sandcoin with one caveat. The caveat being that I still have some money in the actual dynamic pool, but I'm out of the DLMMs. Didn't do well on it at all. It would have been, I think it would have been quite successful had I been aware that there wasn't this pre-sale because, I mean, I should have been aware. I should have had that research covered, but I didn't. Putting this information out after just really puts me off because yes, there were, you know, um, it says how many people actually got into the pre-sale. Um, but like a couple of thousand people that knew. But it was. It wasn't on my timeline at all. So I like what Sendcoin is doing. But I'm I'm not I'm not fond of how they did it. I, maybe you are. So I'm still pleased that there's some transparency here. But I have no idea. If it starts like really rally up and go a little bit crazy. Or just like start to get a lot more attention. Completely cool. Um, but let's have a quick look at this token price because at present I just I don't see any value for this sort of thing down a decent amount I probably should have exited the DLMM the pre-sellers are up massively and everyone else uh, is not doing well so I'm still skipping it now Meteora DLMMs and just dynamic pools this is where you can make some serious bank but the amount of effort we need to put into these is absolutely insane I'm still working on this this Meteora Avengers. It's just a lot of effort. And I hope we can pull this off. The thing is, these are higher risk things. And there's a, there's not many people going to want to jump to them. Sometimes you can do well, sometimes you're not. So what I don't want you to do in the meantime is just to keep on learning. Read this thread here. I will link it below. It's just going through like really obvious things 
on on how these work so it, it clears it up with nice infographics so it does really really well i've got my video here as well if you haven't seen it it's good but we need a lot more content out there and i need to make this even easier with another video just because the stuff is quite complex but ultimately what we need is we need to find pools that look like they're going to print and we need to make calculate a risk with a small amount of money to learn it and just go one after the other so i'm unsure exactly how that's going to happen maybe i have to live stream it and that way like everyone knows what i'm getting into at that particular time and we enter and um we check it it's like a live stream like 20 minutes three times a week something like that could be something that i may have to do next bit of news and the final thing for today is deep pioneers so this is an nft that i minted that i did a video on that i was very excited for and they didn't do the sequence of how they actually started the mint and whatnot they didn't do it very very well in my opinion however i've spoken to the team now i've said what i would do and they were very happy to hear that kind of advice i guess i've been in the nft game for a little bit too long and this is how i would do it and the reason why i think it didn't go as smooth as it was as they wanted to go is because they're busy with uprock they're trying to make uprock amazing and the uprock token you know what? we'll have a look at that on intent trade as well that's not doing very well you can see it here it's not doing too badly but it's, it's still down most of their users are web 2 users uh so these people you know aren't going to be accumulating this and what they need to do is they need to be able to sell this data they need to be able to pull in revenue and then hopefully from there they can melt faces and by melt faces i'm not like i don't think this is necessarily going to be a billion dollar market cap or anything like that but i think it's worth the risk to reward so i'm still holding my upt i'm down and i'm okay with that anyway while this is just working out some things basically we'll go back here i will be minting everything so i've i've done a pre-buy for like six or so and i'll be minting all of them the pre-buyers they have an extra week until the 30th to mint these nfts and if you don't mint by the new deadline your position will be liquidated into the dow pool benefiting other holders if you want a refund then that's not how it works you can see this in the terms and conditions when you like signed up i still think this is worth the risk because one thing is the team they want to do really well the issue is you're putting in too much time into too many different things and you don't have enough attention or time in order to do every single one well so something gets kind of missed this i felt got a little bit missed now i'm here they know who i am uh they know that i'm just here's the feedback here's the feedback here's the feedback you know bounced off other people like saga dow there are other people that like are very familiar with the space and just go from there so if we have a look right now i don't know what the actual cost is uh i'd like to like or what the circulation is so not too many extra have actually been minted but there's probably another 2000 or thereabouts that have been pre-sold or pre-bought i'm not saying right now that you go and buy one at three sold definitely not saying that because you can go and adopt a space cat for less you can basically click on this and it's going to say the price here so all these ones at like 2.5 2.75 you probably skip these for now and this here is the floor price if you go and buy it right here so nothing's moved up but this is 1.86 and you've already paid one soul so you're either going to lose that or you're going to go and pay another 1.75 probably maximum probably 1.25 or maybe 1.5 in order to get it it does say down here though mint your reservation by the 30th or half of your lock soul will be forfeited so if you don't mint then you're just going to lose half soul so you have to decide what it is you want to do i'm just going to mint them all and if these outperform the market i'll be happy but just keep in mind you've got a choice mint pay the extra or don't mint and somehow you're going to be getting half of your lock soul back actionables cloud claim 3 p.m utc if you want to jump to the alpha vault get into it turn on notifications for community's update on pyusd borrow watch my video on claiming bonk manta rewards seven dollars worth of rewards still you learn something may as well do it watch my alpha vault video on the dupe channel and remember that alpha vault closes by 1 40 p.m utc and just consider minting your deep pioneers nft i've given you all my information i've told you that i'm minting them you can decide what you want to do everything in crypto has a risk it's very rare that it's just up only with zero risk airdrop actionables remember dbridge Adjustry of finance join the discord you have to jump into like events one or two and then you should get beta access stake at least 20 million bonk with bonk rewards earn points with cube exchange use my referral and use backpack exchange i have no referral but there's a potential monad airdrop that's all for today if you liked it like it if you loved it subscribe catch you in the next video